that the city council is functioning as an autocracy and basically arrogantly saying you know better than all of us combined and you're just going to destroy all of our neighborhoods, defund our neighborhood organizations and sit there texting while I'm testifying, which is really, you know, people paid hundreds of dollars to come here today and be heard. And the only icon, any only significant eye contact I've seen is from one individual here. While most of the time there's been side conversations and texting going on and almost a blatant disregard for what people are saying. And I think it's really wrong for elected officials to act this way, especially after Ms. we've Kevin, gone through the appeal process. Stick, stick, to, stick to the topic of the public hearing. Hey, it was please. hard to coming today. It was hard to come knowing today that you will rubber stamp this proposal. As I mentioned, it's really disrespectful to your constituents as an elected body not to be listening to us to, to really put aside your phones and your texting and to listen to us. And at a minimum, you owe us, you please, up, please Ms. yes, I will, please Thank start you. listening to your constituents and value their voices as much as you value developers' money. Grant the appeal and send this proposal back to the developers rather than letting them dump stormwater, traffic problems, and other problems on residents while developers profit at the expense of the people who pay the taxes here. Thank you. Just so Ms. Pepin knows, um, I don't have a phone. I don't really use any kind of social media, and I was asking staff, in Public Works, the question about how we handle um, multi-unit buildings of four units or more and their trash. 